Hi everyone, it's time for Fan Mail Friday, our Saturday, November 18th edition. <laughs> oh, so so I we apologize for the delay in you seeing our regularly scheduled Fan Mail Friday, but uh, we've been up to some amazing things uh, for the last almost four months now, uh, launching our new anagriffin.com website, and uh, you are seeing this blog post right here on our new site. I hope you love it as much as we do, and uh, definitely check out all the things uh, that are available to you right here on this new site. So um, we'll be coming to you just like normal, um, you know, on, on, uh, on Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays and Fridays, every week until we start our product previews uh, for January. Um, HSN, we have, we have shows, two shows in January uh, coming up, so you've heard that here right now. Uh, January the 5th, we're, we're doing an Into the New uh, show, which is all about storage and getting organized for the new year. And then our 14th anniversary on HSN, January the 30th. 30 years for AGI on January 30th on HSN. How fun. Um, yes, I said 14th anniversary on HSN. So there's a lot of anniversaries going on. But the one that's important, I think, is the, our brand anniversary. So, gosh, way back in 1994. That was a long time ago and a lot of wrinkles um, ago. So as we get started and kicking off today, I just want to say um, thank you to everyone that joined us uh, for Create Nine, and we, uh, Sarah and I, were just talking about how every person that has reached out to us has said that it was the best event ever. And believe it or not, we've done 13 of those events, and only five of them were in person. Get that right? More virtual than in person. We had more people than ever. We made more beautiful projects than ever. But I think the number one takeaway for me out of the whole thing was the it was the best ever connection with our community and, and to that feeling of joy and that feeling of happiness that crafting creates for all of us. And it was just spectacular. So if you, if you were not part of the event, I would, just, uh, I would encourage you to take a look at uh, our Crop at Home 4 event coming up May 3rd, 4th, and 5th. And that is about memory making and scrapbooking. And oh, it's just going to be such a blast. And uh, we've been working on that for the last few months as well. So um, tickets are, are going to be on sale on our website. And so uh, lots of exciting things going on. All right. Uh, Miss Mary Beth Hank, you're uh, Hanky like 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 hanky uh you are going to kick things off on our new website for fan mail friday look grateful for you love that love the colors love everything about it she's wishing me a, a happy thanksgiving and you know what she says i like this a lot because it says thanks to uh thanks to all for the efforts put forth in making another wonderful crafting experience for the Griffinite community. Uh, I, I think that's just so fantastic. And she also has a product request in there. Uh, heard. Yes, it was heard. Now, uh, Roxanne, look at this. What I love the fact that uh, the cornucopia cards, uh, the, the easel cards, are making their way right here into the studio. And Roxanne, thank you so much for that. Uh, we, we have one. Um, from our last week's Fan Mail Friday, uh, greeting us as we walk in the front door of the office every day. So we're reminded of you and your generosity with us every single morning uh, and evening. Now, Miss Anita, you, she's also been up to the, that fancy easel card. Look at that, thinking of you. I love that. Now, she says, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Harvest was good this year, which I think she means from the stickers. Uh, I love that because, like, there's a lot of really great stickers in those retro Thanksgiving stickers. I think you'll use those all year long. I'm thinking about doing some fruits uh, to go with those vegetables because I really like that imagery so much and it feels very useful um, pretty much, you know, year round. Now, uh, Roseanne, uh, so do you remember our countdown to Halloween and um, Rayanne, I'm sorry, Rayanne, I don't know why I, 
<laughs> uh, my brain cell cells are just not what they were before create. And I walked in today thinking, you know, I <sighs> just need to relax, and this is my this is definitely my happy place in here. But there's no one in here today. It's just Sarah and I, and it's very quiet. So it's different than create. So Rayanne, let me start over with your amazing card. Okay. And what's so fun is she wants me to find her this die. And you know what? I, in a, in a perfect world, I would go and do that right now. She says she you never have to apologize, but she says apologizing for missing last week. So so she started sending us Halloween cards in August. She, she has done it every single week, and she, um, she said that she was busy putting up her Halloween yard display, and it's a walkthrough, all right, and, and they do a, a fund drive for her church, and it's so much fun, and she started August 1st making a card a week, and she, she missed whatever you didn't miss a thing. Uh, this card went old school, which is uh, fantastic, and and then she said, she, uh, let's see, uh, there's, okay, owl, owl in quotes. I'll always appreciate you and your team and all the work that goes into making uh, these products and memories and I look forward to create. Um, uh, it happens to be the week of my birthday, so it's a gift to myself. Well, I hope, Rayanne, that it was a, a, a treat for you. I, I, I want to hear. Tell us how it went for you. All right, now, oh, Teresa. Look at that, grateful for you, love that. Beautiful, happy Thanksgiving, Anna and team, and a little blessing, Psalm 107.8. Uh, All right, oh, that men would, love, would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Oh, that's very nice, thank you for that. Uh, I like that. And then I have this card, this card came during Create, and this came um, from Michelle Massey with a, a bunch of beautiful um, uh, cheeses from Wisconsin. And l w Michelle, l what's so nice is that your card got in with my intentions for the Create event, and I just, I'll just tell you kind of what we experienced. Uh, it was happiness. We, we were setting an intention for happiness in our hearts and to experience joy. Uh, family, where we acknowledge each other as, as one family, and harmony, which includes happiness but transcends it, and that we created in perfect harmony. So I love that, that, that your card and my notes are all together. I'm going to have to remember to hold on to all that. Uh, I, I always scramble before an event where I just like, what did I say last time? I want to make sure it's something different, you know? Kathy Foos, uh, someone I met at uh, our Create event, and uh, you know what? And her daughter Linda, I think, has been. They've been. I know Linda's been at almost all of the events, if not all of them. She writes. Uh, she just mailed her Thanksgiving cards to family and friends, and she did tags for Create Nine, and they got all the prep videos done. And how exciting! But I do want to say that we are sorry for the loss of your sister-in-law, and uh, and that has, uh, you know, I yes, she was a an avid crafter for 40 years, and her husband gave, um, didn't know what to do with it all, so he gave um, he gave uh, <laughs> Kathy and Linda more Anna Griffin items to to um, be part of their collections. So I'm so glad that you all were able to enjoy that with us and and um, find joy in, in the, the, all your new, your new crafts. And, huh. All right, so uh, Adina, look at how beautiful. She's very responsive. Look at this. This came right after Create, and so thank you so much for the beautiful experience. I'm still over the moon. Learned so much while having a ball. I love seeing your porch. That's my inspiration for the card. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful, and 3D. So lovely. And if, um, if you saw our, uh, our post uh, during Create for uh, Fan Mail Friday, um, uh, the Arizona Griffinites sent our team Arizona things. Um, look at this. So there's an entire Goldwater's Arizona sal salsa. There's so many different kinds in here. I think this is going to be a real, um, a real tasty uh, experiment. There are Arizona Desert Kitchen Southwest tri tri Trio of Tortilla Chips. There are Fairy Tale 
um, brownies, and there is, look at this, Arizona prickly pear taffy. That sounds yummy. And then, uh, then there's cactus candy from uh, all the Arizona Griffinites and a scorpion sucker. Look at that. Now that, I don't know about this. I'm going to have to read the fine print on the scorpion sucker. It's blueberry. It's got, does it have a real scorpion? It does. Oh, no, it's made of something. Okay, so it's not. Whew. Um, okay, oh, it is real? Oh, I think Sarah's saying it is real. I don't know, he looks pretty real in there to me. Um, I know I see on Survivor that they eat things like this. Um, not me, that's not my game, uh, but how fun. Uh, we love the thought, um, and I've, I'm sure there's some takers right here in the building for the scorpion. Maybe it's good luck, like, you know, the, the, the worm that used to come in the tequila bottle. <laughs> That's fun. That's a fun way to end our fan mail. Um, I hope that all of you have an incredible Thanksgiving, uh, no matter how you choose to celebrate. Hopefully it's with friends, family, and loved ones uh, doing something that you love. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's making your Christmas cards because that's the day. Send them out the day after Thanksgiving and send them out and then just see what you get back. Okay. All right, everybody, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We are grateful for you. We'll see you again on the other side of the Thanksgiving holiday. Bye for now.